What's up guys, it's your boy TikTok Guitarist 1 and in today's video we're going to be doing some more funky chords but with a little twist on them so this is probably going to be more for intermediate players but that's besides the point, let's get into it let me not waste your time and it's also going to be in a funky key we're starting in C sharp baby So, first chord we're doing is a C sharp or D flat major 7. So, the equivalent of this would be as a bar chord. But if you're not there with the bar chords, this is an easy alternative. Similar thing with um, if you wanted to play it like this. If you aren't quite there yet, again, this you may find this easier just based on how it's formed. It's legit a diagonal line. So going downwards, a fret to a finger going downwards. So for this chord, my pinky is on the D string 11th fret. My ring finger is on the G string 10th fret. My middle finger is on the B string 9th fret. And my index finger is on the 8th fret high E string and I'm plucking from the D string. Also another thing, it's not really common for beginners or new guitar players to even play chords this high up the fret. So that is another thing I want to kind of normalize into your playing, being comfortable playing chords up the fret and at the bottom as well. So we've got this chord. Then we go into a C minor flat six or something crazy like that. So what I'm doing here is my pinky is now on the 10th fret D string. My index finger is on the G string 8th fret. My ring finger is on the B string 9th fret. And my middle finger is on the high E string 8th fret. So, so far we've got Then the next chord we're doing is uh, B flat something So for this chord, my middle finger is on the D string 8th fret My index finger is on the G string 6th fret, my pinky is on the B string 9th fret, and my ring finger is on the high E string 8th fret. One thing I will say about these chords, and I should, probably should have put this as a warning earlier in the video, is especially if you've got like an electric acoustic, the D string, the G string, Sorry, the G string, the B string, and the high E string, because they're thinner, they are going to be sharper. So if you see my fingers, you can kind of see, I don't know if it's going to focus, how there's kind of like that little indent. Um, so this is something your fingers will adjust to. It will take time. So when you are playing these chords, if you do kind of find it uncomfortable or painful, do take a break, just like wiggle your fingers around, get the blood flowing, and then try again. Over time, if you keep practicing, it will become more comfortable. So, so far we've got and then the final chord is a G sharp major seven. And the beautiful thing about this chord shape is it's the same chord shape as the first chord we done just a different fret slide down so see this as your kind of beginner bar chord essentially a bar chord is essentially a chord where you bar and you do whatever shape is appropriate 
uh, here that's a major minor and then you can slide it up to different keys see this shape as your kind of beginner bar chord so going back to the chord my pinky is on the d string sixth fret my ring finger is on the g string fifth fret my middle finger is on the b string fourth fret and my index finger is on the high E string, third fret. So, running through that from the top, we've got, and I'll take it slower so you guys can catch it. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that guitar lesson. What I'm trying to get you guys in the kind of habit of is being comfortable in playing in any key. So it doesn't matter if it's a sharp or a flat key, you don't need to just resort to your C, G, D, E minor, and then get a capo out to change the key. I want you guys to be comfortable playing in all 12 keys. Um, with kind of beginner chord shapes or beginner friendly chord shapes or chords that don't require bar chords. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that lesson. Remember, we're burning basic chords and I'll catch you in the next video.